Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz and welcome to the Emergency Card Essentials Hop. These are two die sets that I designed for Trinity Stamps and I'm about to share my favorite layout. If you're new to my channel, emergency cards are ones where we make the cards ahead of time, but we leave the sentiments off. They are interchangeable in size. They come in circles, rectangles, and strip sentiments. And that way, your stash becomes even more versatile than ever. I'm gonna use die set number one for today's card. But if you don't have this die set, you can still use the layout as inspiration for your own cards, especially if you've been downloading and printing your own stash of emergency card sentiments. There are exclusive sentiment sets that come with each of these sets. So if you already have them, I know many of you have purchased them already. There's a QR code on the back of your packaging that will take you to a little welcome video. And then right at the top of the description box for the video is the link to my Google Drive where you can download it for free. I have cut a bunch of pieces using this die set. If you wanted to use pattern paper here, it is so quick and easy to get a bunch of different layouts. I'm gonna start with a piece of white shimmer cardstock and we're gonna stencil this sprinkles border on it. It's designed to create a border. It's actually four separate stencils all on the same piece, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna lay this down and I'm kind of using my grid just to make sure I'm putting it approximately in the same place every time. And I'm gonna bring in some teal ink and instead of stenciling just a single strip for the border, I'm gonna stencil the whole thing. We're gonna make a confetti background. Then I'm gonna use my rag to kind of wipe off the excess ink and I will rotate this 90 degrees. We're gonna do that four times. So we started with teal, I rotate, I lay it back down approximately in the same place, but you guys, it's not even designed to be used this way. So you can just go rogue. Then I'm gonna bring in some purple ink. After this, we'll do a light pink, and then I'll bring in some silver pigment ink. But you could use pattern paper here. That's what I love about this die set in particular, is that it's super great for using your pattern paper. I will link below to the hop playlist, right? I love that we're doing it that way this time. So you're gonna click on it and it will take you to a single page where you can watch all of the videos that our designers have made. Some of my very favorite designers, I can't even get over it. And I will also link below to the sneak peek video where I show you a bunch of different layouts that you can make using these die sets. There is also a giveaway. So if you've been looking at these dies and you're like, I'm not sure, you can win a $25 gift card to the Trinity Stamps shop, which will go a long way towards getting you some emergency card essentials dies. Once I'm done stenciling my panel, I'm gonna use that diagonal cut rectangle to run that through my die cutting machine. And we're gonna use the bigger piece on this card. So this set cuts a single piece of cardstock into with that diagonal. But what I love about the strips is that you can shift the weight of the focal image by adding extra strips on here. This larger strip is really long, so you have plenty of room to easily lay that down with some glue and then I'll just trim the excess off with my scissors. But there's a quarter inch strip on here that's meant for cutting out sentiments that is just perfectly long enough. So if you're not sure if it's gonna fit, it does, but you've gotta be really careful about where you stick the ends of it. But the diagonal is just the right length for it to fit and you'll trim just the tiniest little bit off of either end. When we lay this onto our A2 panel, you can see how now that that blue piece looks a lot smaller, it really shifts the weight heavily towards our polka dotted piece. And I love that. It just draws your eye towards our focal images. It's gonna leave a tiny little border around the outside edge of the card. And so I temporarily taped one of the pieces in place while I glue down the other one. You could eyeball this, but I'm a little type A about it. <laughs> so this seems easier to me. I like the wet glue because I can wiggle it a little bit in case something's not quite right. Then there are lots of ways to arrange this. If you rotate this as a portrait card, you will see tons of examples using that layout on the Trinity Stamps website. If you just click on the link for the dies, it'll show you that. But this was one of the first cards I made once the dies got sent to me. And I'm gonna use my other favorite die set from Trinity. It's the Tiny Donut Dippers 
they're so cute it's just a small little die set and i have been wanting to put faces on these donuts for ages so I cut the donuts and then some frosting and then there is a piece that will do like sprinkle frosting and then this other piece that will do a swirl. I'm adding glue all over and I'm just gonna tap that off on my hand mostly so I don't end up with it on my grid mat. And then I'll take my scissors and just trim the center out. You could skip this part, but let me tell you how much I appreciate that <laughs> I don't have to piece together four different pieces of frosting onto my donut. That is much faster. There are five different goofy faces in this die set because I think it's fun to have funny, punny sentiments, which Trinity is so good at, but then have them come from these little characters. So this one has these little eyelashes on her eyes and then a mouth. I'll show you a bonus card at the end where I also put faces on these donuts and I dressed them up for Christmas. The face pieces are sort of small. You could put rip and stick sheet behind there if you didn't want to fiddle with glue, but I'm just going to use my tweezers so I can add the glue and tap it off on the back of my hand to make sure it's not going to ooze out when I go to set that down on my donut. I am stealing one piece from Emergency Card Essentials number two, and it's this little swirly bit. You could totally skip this, but it looks like frosting. I love it so much. Carrie Rhodes has been using it a ton, and I am so inspired by the way she puts it on the insides of cards, uh, and I haven't even tried it yet, but it's coming. So I used a rip and stick sheet. It's double-sided adhesive sheet from Trinity Stamps. I love how beautifully it cuts and then I really didn't have to worry about glue oozing out. I trimmed this down to be just the right size to fit from edge to edge and then I will peel off that backing just a little bit at a time. It's super sticky and I didn't want it sticking to my hands and then maybe I distort it or I rip something because I'm not a gentle crafter. But I love this final detail right here. Then we're gonna work on our focal image. Again, if you would use pattern paper, you'd probably be done with this card already. To me, emergency cards are about building up your stash by adding interchangeable sentiments. So you can swap them out at the last minute if you're like, oh my goodness, that's the wrong sentiment for this card. I'll show you how I do that. But the kit is gonna have a bunch of circle sentiments in the same size, rectangle sentiments in the same size, and strip sentiments. There is an entire playlist of emergency card kits, free printables on my channel. I'll link that below. So after you're done with the hop and you've gone and you've commented on everybody and subscribed to channels and gotten tons of inspiration, entered the giveaway, uh, you can come back here and get a bunch of free downloads to go with it. So I added my circles with some one millimeter foam tape and then my donuts. I have a slightly loftier tape, just maybe one and a half millimeters, two millimeters, because it's gonna overlap the donut ever so slightly. And I didn't want it to be at an angle, like a slope going down to the edge of the card. But that finishes up the front except for the sentiment. So we're gonna add that onto our A2 top folding card base. So it's eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it in the middle at four and a quarter. I'm gonna put wet glue all over, but I know it's gonna fit perfectly because I used the die to cut that gray piece. And that always uh, is a little more accurate than me and my trimmer. So next we're gonna work on our sentiment. There's a QR code on the back of your package to download five pages of printable sentiments. This is from kit number two, it's still intact. For the rectangles, there are tick marks and you're gonna stick that in your trimmer and cut so that you're connecting the tick marks, but leave the header intact, okay? Because I wanna be able to rotate it like this and still have the tick marks on the side. Then when I slide my blade through this way, they'll be perfectly cut and I can get all of those sentiments. There is a die in Emergency Card Essentials number one that will also cut these out at the perfect size. It's two and a quarter by one and a quarter. I have over 50 kits that have sentiments in that size. Then on the inside, I'm gonna add one more of my scallop rectangles with some wet glue, and then I'm using removable adhesive. I like this so that at the last minute, I can change that out if I want to. This is a pretty sassy sentiment. Woohoo, I made you this fancy paper. I even folded it in half. I suppose it's possible not everyone <laughs> is gonna find that funny, or maybe I need a card that's more specifically birthday. I can easily swap these out using my free printables, and then I have this great stash I can use. 
So here's the bonus card I promised you. This video is coming soon to my channel. It says, oh, holy night, but like donut holes. <laughs> and we made a light up card. The stars are brightly shining. Those sentiments are from the free printable that comes with kit number two. And then I have the same donuts. I've used the donut holes on this one as well. That scallop circle comes from this die set as well. My friends, I hope this inspires you. Be sure to click on more or show more beneath the video to find the link to the playlist and all the instructions for entering the giveaway. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you next time.